What's up, everybody? Good fucking afternoon. Um, just me recording. Fiance usually records me. Um, she's at work, so this is a quick update. Just got back from the gym. Yeah, pump still. Did upper body, a little bit of abs. Never really had abs, but that's gonna change. Update real quick. I am going to do bigger by the day series, my own one. That's gonna start. I don't know, about a couple weeks, maybe a month. I don't know. Uh, because of that, I don't know. Uh, me and my fiance are moving on the 16th. Where to is none of y'all business. Mainly, we're moving because emergency reasons, I guess you could say. Um, I saved my neighbor for getting her ass beat by her ex-boyfriend. And now he's fucking my shit up. Busting my windows front and back. So, can't park here. Ain't living here. Fuck that. Um... I said, I'm going to do bigger by the day. She's going to record me as much as possible in the gym, my workouts, you know, me eating, what I eat. I'm going to go over. Yes, I'm going to go back on cycle. And I'll go over that when that time comes. I'm going to be honest with you about everything I take, like I've always been. I'm not going to hide shit. I'm like Rich Piana. I'm going to be honest up front. You know, I'm not going to, you know, the way I look now is probably 80% because of steroids, you know. I was fat before, you know, but I'm also short. I'm only 5'5", five five, so I can build muscle easily, but I know what I look like on and off roids. And right now I'm taking, it's called Atlas, I don't know, it's called, I think it's called Atlas and Pro Hormones, I don't fucking know. And that's it. I was taking the high-tech pharmaceuticals stuff, the Superdraw, Anavar, and Equibolin. I don't really take it no more. Um, Getting a healthy body back, because like I said, I'm going to get on a big cycle. And when it comes, when I get it, I will go over what the fuck it is. Uh, hence, it might be the rich piano cycle. So, might be, don't know. I'll tell you when it comes. All that's going to be in a few weeks, maybe months or so. Um, I really itching to get back, because I am going to be doing. A sh I will be doing a show next year. I was going to do one this year, but shit happens. The virus. You know, where the, and all that shit. So I canceled it. So I'm going to do one next year for sure. Because honestly, I love and hate bodybuilding. I hate the fact that I got in bodybuilding because I can't get rid of it. It's like a fucking leech. I just want to have fun, drink, you know, watch sports. You know, I want to go back to that. But I can't because every time I gain weight, in my mind, I freak out and I panic. And I'm like, fuck. So I got to get it over with. Until I do a show, I can't get rid of bodybuilding. I always will be a bodybuilder. At heart, you know, but that's why I love and hate it. Because I love it because it's fun. I like working out. I like feeling big, strong. I, you know, I have so many nicknames over my years. Either for PT with Marines, you know, Baby Hawk, you know, fucking this weird ass name, Baby Hawk, Gorilla, you know. You know, because again, I'm short and when I get big, you know, I'm big, you know, I look pretty good, I think. You know, again, I don't really have abs because I'm bulking right now. Not really bulking. Like I said, we're moving soon, so I really can't afford all that. Really, in like three weeks we're moving. But once we get settled and shit, bad. I like to put videos out every Saturday as much as possible. Give you updates and everything. Again, she will be, my fiance will be recording a lot of stuff when I start my series. And yeah. And, you know, just that's what's happening. I, I gotta get her done. And I recommend that for everybody. If you have haters, you know, people doubting you, saying don't do this. But if you have that goal in life and a dream, don't let those people stop you from reaching those, your, your goals or your dreams or whatever, your vision. You know, I always live by, you always gotta have a dream and a vision in life. You can't be doing the same shit. If you just go to work, come home, and watch TV, you're not really living life. You know, um, you gotta have a goal in mind, and you gotta, you know, people don't agree with you or people hate on you. Fuck those people. Get them to the side. Get rid of them. Do whatever it takes to get your goal and dream done with. You don't live forever. Never take life, you know, for granted. And uh, you know, because it could be your last. You can die tonight. You can go to sleep and not wake up tomorrow. I, for one, don't want to be on my deathbed and be like, damn, what if? I don't like the what if. That bugs me and gets me nervous inside because what if, I, don't, you know, I did that. I always want to do it. I live every single day as my last. So I live most of my days for a long time. Not most of my days, but every day. 
you know, I always think, damn, this could be my last day. Because I work for a trash business, you know. Fuck, I almost got ran over already by the truck. Because he didn't pay in, you know, park. So, you know, I can get hit by a car. I can get smushed. So much shit can happen. I can fucking die. We are the top five worst, uh, the most dangerous job. So I look at that and think, damn. So, I'm going after my goal. Get after your fucking goal. Get shit done. Fuck the haters, you know. Stay positive. It's been a tough year for me. I mean, I have a lot of losses. Family members passed away. Dogs. You know, we lost our you know, baby. So, but I always stay positive. You know, deep inside it hurts when I do think about it. I do get down, but I flip it and have that positive, you know, mindset that Rich taught us. You know, us five percenters to have. You know, when shit gets down, stay positive and just work. Keep going at it. You know, the gym, again, back on the bodybuilding, love and hate. The gym is my stress and my therapy. I go there, you know, I just keep my headphones on, turn that shit up, my brain rattles, and I just lift. I love it. It's my stress, my therapy, and I, it just takes me to another world, you know, escape everything in life. You know, again, it's been hard, but I've been positive. I always think positive. Nothing can break my, my mindset and things. And once I have something in my mind, I'll get her done. Because, again, time is not granted every single day. It's not guaranteed. Anything can happen any moment. So live your life to the fullest. Set goals. Get her done. And, you know, just fuck shit up. You know, work your ass off. Earn shit. Nothing comes easy in life. If it comes easy, it's not worth a damn thing. You know, the most hardest things are the most well worth things in life, I like to say. But that's it. I'm about to go to my parents' house, get a shirt on. Right now, I'm about 190, uh, about 190, 188 pounds. I just drank my MRE shake right here. Still got a fucking shit ton of this. Four scoops. So, I will do maybe a walkthrough on our, our video or our new apartment. Again, the 16th. We're moving to Monday. I'll be going to Anytime Fitness in Brownsburg. So if you live in Indiana, around Brownsburg area, uh, come fuck it up. Let's go. Um, I am said bulking right now. So let's say I try to put a video out every Saturday. Once I get settled, we get settled in the new apartment. I try to, you know, get shit done. You know, I don't know. Figure it out. But I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Be safe out there. You know, just fucking kill it. Now go to gym, do something new every day and push yourself to another limit. Never do the same shit every single day or week. Change it up, do more and more, work harder, not less. But everybody have a good day, good weekend. I'm going to get the fuck out of here, go to my parents and watch a UFC fight. Fuck Khabib, hope he gets knocked out, probably won't. Go Rays, let's go.